Hey guys, welcome to Body Geeks. So have you ever wondered what you can do to make sure that you have the best workout every single time you enter the gym? Today we're gonna to talk about exactly that. I'm gonna be giving you some things to try and a list of stuff to do that's gonna guarantee that you have a great workout every single time you step foot in the gym. The first thing that we all need to make sure that we take care of is sleep and rest. If you're tired, if you didn't get enough sleep the night before, your workout's gonna suck. There's not a pre-workout in the world that's gonna replace a solid six to eight hours of sleep. Hydration is number two. If you're dehydrated, if you don't have enough water in your system or electrolytes in your system, the muscle's not gonna function properly. We need electrolytes, we need fluid and water in the muscle so it can contract and lift weights. You can also try not only water, but coconut water. Coconut water is filled full of a ton of different electrolytes and it's gonna help keep the muscle hydrated so it can perform optimally. So let's say that you have a pre-workout meal, maybe two hours prior to training. You have a small coconut water with that. You're gonna make sure that your hydration is on point. If you drink plenty of water throughout the day, you're good to go. Fuel goes right there with hydration. So this is food. Some people wake up and they work out on an empty stomach and they get great workouts. If you're one of those people, I'm jealous. Fuck you. Food is important obviously because that's the calories that the body uses to make sure all the shit that's supposed to go on inside the muscle goes on so the weights get lifted. Now when I'm talking about fuel and hydration, a lot of what I'm gonna be talking about is around the workout time. So if you wake up, you eat a huge breakfast and then you eat nothing all day and you train at 6 p.m., you're gonna be flat. The muscle won't have very much glycogen in it. If you didn't hydrate properly, you're not gonna have the substance you need in the muscle, the fuel in the muscle to actually move the weight. So personally, what I'll do is I'll make sure that I have a meal about an hour and a half to two hours out to training. Some people like to eat even closer to the workout, say 30 minutes to an hour beforehand. So we wanna eat something somewhat fast digesting a couple hours prior to training. Chicken and rice, perfect example. Add a tablespoon of almond butter to that, we're good to go. We got good macros, fast digesting food, nothing too heavy on the stomach, and we're fueled up and ready to rock. Now going more into like the mental aspect of working out, I think that your clothing matters. I had a coach one time in baseball tell me that if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you play good, you perform good. I think the gym is no different. That's why you see guys wearing stringers and tank tops and anything else. Even the guys that want to wear old sweats and a baggy, nasty shirt, they're sending their message. This is what I, who I am to the rest of the people in the gym. So if you're confident with how you look, you're going to perform better because you feel good. So get your favorite Body Geeks workout when they drop and head to the gym, feel good, have a great workout. A solid pre-workout or something that gives you energy. This could be either a stimulant pre-workout like what most people take. It could be just drinking a glass of water or a cup of tea or whatever's, whatever's your thing. Something that's gonna give you the mental energy to push yourself harder. That's crucial pre-workout. Some people don't need anything. And if you're one of those people, again, I'm jealous. I guess I'm just a busy guy because if I go to the gym without a pre-workout, I'm not worth anything. I'm just sitting there bored, tired, complaining, whatever else, you know? I need something that's gonna jack me up and get me in there and get me killing the weights. Now music. Music is definitely another thing as far as atmosphere is concerned. So the atmosphere of your gym plays a huge role in how good of a workout that you have. So for those of you that are fortunate enough to have a great gym like Metroflex or some of these other hardcore spots, Powerhouse, Gold's Gym, older Gold's Gyms, you name it, you have a great atmosphere to train in. You may not need headphones. For those of you that train at like your local commercial gym with the old ladies on the machines that are sitting there staring at you while you walk by, you may need something in your ears that's hyping you up. Otherwise, you're going to be forced to listen to that shitty elevator music that the gym plays, you know, pop culture songs that nobody likes, and somehow they play everywhere that we go. So make sure that you're fueled, you're hydrated, you're rested, your clothing is on point so you look good. Now don't make this a fashion statement, this is about you looking good and feeling good to perform. You have some type of energy pre-workout to amp you up, you got some good playlists that's going to add to that hype, and you have a solid environment around you that you've created. Mentally, we're now focused and on point to have a good workout. Our muscles are fueled and hydrated and ready to go. I like to actually spend my time when I'm drinking my pre-workout on YouTube or reading a book or something that has to do with weight training, something that's motivational. So I may look up some of the people that I look, look up to and I'll actually watch one of their training videos to get hyped up and get ideas for what I actually want to do in the gym. As I'm getting hyped up and my pre-workout's kicking in and the energy's coming up, I'll sit there and I'll write out my plan for the day. I'll write out what my workout is gonna be. I'll go exercise to exercise, sets, reps, you name it. So, if we conclude all of this, if I have my intro workout shake ready, I made it the morning I woke up, 
I'm rested, I'm hydrated, I'm fueled, I have my workout gear on point so I have all of my accessories in my gym bag, I'm wearing the clothes that I need to wear so I can get the job done, I have my energy and my motivation for my videos, I have my plan that I wrote out, I'm set, I have solid music in a good environment, all I gotta do now is just pick up the weights, drink my intro workout shake, let the science from the intro workout shake do its job as mentally and physically I'm putting in the work in the gym, you'll always leave the gym satisfied. Thanks for watching. Until next time, you're tuned in to Body Geeks.